Hello everybody, Kabir is back and today I am going to talk about Stay Certified with SAP. Yes, you heard it right, Stay Certified with SAP. It's all about embracing continuous learning in this new digital age. So, in today's rapidly evolving digital landscape where cloud technologies and AI, specifically generative AI, are reshaping the industries and we need to stay ahead and it requires more than just the initial expertise and definitely it demands continuous learning and adaptation. Recognizing this fact, SAP has really transformed its certification program from April 2024 onwards to introduce this new stay certified approach. This innovative model actually shifts from the traditional one-time certification to a dynamic ongoing validation of your skills, ensuring that professional remains proficient with the latest SAP innovations. So why this change actually? So if you see the pace of technological advancement in SAP has gone ahead and it means that what was cutting edge yesterday or what skills you were having yesterday it could be outdated tomorrow, right? And it definitely you need to get on new skills. And for this, this SAP state certified new approach helps to address this by taking you kind of an annual assessment every year where you need to give a short unproctored quiz that keeps your knowledge current up to date with the latest skills without the stress of giving a kind of a full re-examination. And you need, also it helps you to give a kind of a role based learning with a tailored content that will align with your specific role in your project, ensuring that you are relevant and you have the desired applicable skills. And the other important part is, it is quite well integrated with your SAP Learning Hub integration, which is actually your centralized platform, right, for offering the different live sessions, then the practice systems and the other stuffs. So, basically if you see, what are the different steps that you need to stay certified? First of all, you need to get an SAP Universal ID. If you see that I am already logged in via SAP Universal ID into learning.sap.com. Then once you have logged in via your SAP Universal ID, then you need to subscribe to the SAP Learning Hub. Why do you need to subscribe? Because if you do not have an active Learning Hub subscription, you won't be able to retake your or revalidate your SAP certifications. So the access to the annual assessments that you need to give. So if you see here, these are the different certifications that I am having. So basically I am having the backend developer SAP cloud application programming model certification and I am having the backend developer web cloud certification. Now there is a concept called managed certification here. So if I view this certification, it will show you, just give it a minute. So if you see, it will show you the different certification validity and all. So I'll just quickly close this and if I manage this certification, if you see, it will show me that when it was earned and it is valid till what time. And if you see, this is the important part that I'm talking about, the self-assessment course that you need to take. So that is the reason that why you need an active learning of subscription because when you click on this uh, stay certified assessment, it will go to the SAP Learning Hub and then you need to take a kind of a self-assessment at your own end which is an unproctored one and then you need to once you are uh, like you, you will be able to clear that certification your certification validity will be extended by one year so how many number of certifications that you will have that many number of extension that you need to do as in you need to take an active certification exam for like after each and every one year so if you see this for this particular exam as well, like this was earned on February 26, 2025. And this is the stay certified due date for which I need to take my assessment either prior to this date or my certification will lapse. And the best part is that as you are able to check your certification status via this learning.sap.com portal under the my certifications to prepare for all these assessments, you can utilize all the linked preparation materials. So once you click on this self-paced course, you can actually prepare for the certification. And 
once you are done via the preparation you can take the assessment from this particular click on this link so this is the one which will help you to prepare for this state certified assessment and via take assessment link you can go ahead and take your certification so as i said you need to first prepare for the assessment and then you can take this short non proctored quiz assessment and as if you successfully pass the same it will extend your validity as in your certification validity via 12 months so what are the key takeaways that you have is all the certifications that you now take with sap basically those are just valid for one year so completing the annual assessment before it expires then if you are really able to pass the exam then it helps you to extend the validity by an another year only and you get a digital badge as well as just i showed you right so upon successful completion you will receive that updated digital badge with your validity extended which will showcase your commitment to stay current in your updated skills and if any certification would have lapsed you get a chance to give an alternative certification so the best part is that this new stay certified approach isn't just about keeping up it's about leading the way by embracing the stay certified approach you are not only enhancing your own skills but also contributing to a culture of continuous improvement and innovation within your organization and you always stay updated thank you